seats. Thank you. Students, honored guests, welcome to the senior presentation for the class of 2018 of St. Mary's College High School. Now, a couple of things that are inherent qualities which mark this presentation are dignity and honor. This is not a rally. It's a formal presentation. As such, we ask that all of you respect all aspects of the program, such as respect, such respect is characterized by appropriate use of applause when called for. So with that in mind, Administration, faculty, and staff of St. Mary's College High School take honor in presenting to you the class of 2018. Juniors, sophomores, freshmen, and guests, please remain seated while we welcome the class led by our faculty.
Now, to begin our ceremony, would everyone please stand? The members of the class of 2018 will now lead us in prayer. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God. Let us remember all the times we have been in the holy presence of God these past four years. Let us remember our parents, guardians, family members, and dearest friends who have provided steadfast support throughout both the joys and challenges of our years at St. Mary's College High School. Let us remember the faculty, staff, and administrators whose dedication to each of us and to our St. Mary's community have helped to foster the environment and education in which we have grown both intellectually and spiritually. Let us remember the De La Salle brothers whose passion for the mission of education gives us witness that we are called to live a life of faith in which our gifts and talents can help those most in need. As we head out on whatever path that is set before us, let us remember these people who are witnesses to God's presence in our lives and blessings God has bestowed upon us through them. An ancient blessing reminds us, where there is faith, there is love. Where there is love, there is peace. Where there is peace, there is God. And when God is present, nothing is missing. We ask you, all loving God, to give us eyes that see your kindness and love, both in ourselves and in others. Give us ears that hear your voice through the stories of those around, around us. Lips that affirm and defend the dignity of all people. Give us hands that reach out and serve others, generous and merciful hearts, even in the most difficult times. And give us feet that walk on paths blessed by you and lead us to more wonderful experiences than we could have ever imagined. May we carry this blessing in our hearts as we continue our journey of life. And in more difficult times, may we remember that we have already been blessed by the greatest gift of our lives, that is to be alive, because we have the capacity, talent, and intelligence to live the life that God has given to us. Let us go with joy and happiness under the protection, mercy, and love of God, and with the blessing of the Virgin Mary, our patroness and mother, friends, family members, faculty, and class of 2018, never be dismayed with the brokenness of our world, but intentionally be the blessing it will take to mend and fix it. So go, and love intentionally and unconditionally as God loves each of us. Our world waits for the light that is you. St. John Baptist de La Salle, live Jesus in our hearts. Please everyone be seated. Each year, a student is chosen from among the graduates to deliver the valedictory address. This graduate is chosen based on achievement and on how they have lived out the core principles of a Stallion education. The valedictory address is meant to inspire the graduating class as they turn toward the future to reach for higher ideals and to put what they have learned at St. Mary's into action. Olivia Connor is the valedictorian for the class of 2018. Her address will also be given on Sunday, June 3rd, during the commencement exercises at Zellerbach Hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Olivia Connor. Good morning, St. Mary's, Brother Edmund, administration, 
faculty, parents, fellow Panthers, and class of 2018. Woo! Yeah! I am so grateful to be among these soon-to-be graduates of St. Mary's College High School. There are a lot of people in this graduating class who've grown up and glowed up in the last four years. <laughs> Parents, if you don't know what glowed up means, just ask your graduate after this. It's a compliment. I recall some rolly backpacks and really long hair. I remember times where we maybe shared a little too much with one another over Snapchat and in text messages. Those moments, <laughs> those moments will forever live on with us in yearbooks and unfortunately the internet. <laughs> this moment came far too quickly for some and for others couldn't get here fast enough. We've been through a lot in our four years. We've lost classmates, faculty, and staff members, and gained amazing new ones. We have new insights, new skills, and new experiences under our belts. As a class, we've banded together to support people from all corners of the country and across the world. We've done a lot, and I hope you all are proud. So what's next for the class of 2018? Some are off to college. Some are staying nearby. Others, like myself, are going far away. I'm sure you parents have some mixed feelings about that. I know my mom joked about kicking me out, but now that it's happening, she's not such a fan. Mm. Others still will be joining the workforce or taking a year off to gain more knowledge and experience. Here is where our futures diverge. We are all taking different paths, full of possibilities, but also unknowns, which can be scary. We are venturing into a new territory and I would be remiss not to note the uncertainty I feel in leaving my own bubble. We are all born into bubbles. These bubbles can help us feel safe. For some, they signify a time in childhood where there wasn't much to worry about. Made from thicker or thinner soap, our bubbles can start out huge. Once a bubble is blown, you can't make it any bigger. The older we get, the smaller our bubbles get. They fill up with memories and hopes for the future maybe involving, involving a college we want to attend or a dream profession. They can also fill up with doubts and anxieties and questions about our place in this world. If you took advantage of opportunities presented to you as a St. Mary's student, you had a chance to test life outside of our bubble. You know, it's like when your hands are all soapy so you can poke a bubble without actually popping it. Maybe you traveled for enrichment week and you went to Haiti, Israel, Montana, or maybe you stuck around the bay and encountered something that inspired you here in our own backyards. Maybe you participated in Social Action Lasallian Team or Peace and Justice and helped to orchestrate community service events. If you paid attention to the world around you and really absorbed all that was going on, you may have caught a glimpse of life outside of our bubbles. Something possibly misleading about bubbles is that they're clear, see-through. So people inside bubbles might not know that they're in there and remain oblivious to the efforts of those who keep their bubbles aloft. We, instead, recognize family and friends who have helped us navigate this adolescence. For me, that's my mom, my dad, and my grandmother. Mm. We also celebrate all those whose brightness and dedication uplift our St. Mary's community. Members of our buildings and grounds crew, like Miss Aguirre or Fabi, who keep our campus beautiful and take care of it in ways many of us don't even realize. Staff, like Miss Willette in the main office, whose constant smile, jokes, and spunk shine brightly through our days. She will be missed in retirement. Administrators, like Brother Edmund, who is concluding his tenure as president. Brother Edmund has led the school for many years and made it a home for all of us here. And teachers, like Mr. Olivier, who is also graduating alongside us as he ends a remarkable 42-year run overseeing dramatic productions at St. Mary's. During previews for this year's musical, The Addams Family, which I hope you all saw, because it was amazing, Mr. O asked us to reflect on the question, what do you love? 
He always encouraged us to find and pursue our passions. Thank you, all of you, for helping to make St. Mary's the wonderful place that it is. Class of 2018, our bubbles are about to pop. Now we prepare to enter a world in which people may not care about us so much, one in which we certainly won't be spoon-fed, according to Dr. Imperio. <laughs> what does this mean for us? To those feeling that St. Mary's has left them unprepared, I say you are wrong. As I explained, because our bubbles are clear, sometimes they're easy to miss. St. Mary's has taught us to live with purpose, and that is what we need to face the challenges ahead. From the classroom, to the stage, to the field, and beyond, we have learned to value education, to love and respect one another, to be a voice for the voiceless and care for those less fortunate, to fight for justice, and to have faith, even in something we may not fully understand. By no means are we the best versions of ourselves. We have a lot of growing to do. It's an uphill battle from here, but we have a solid foundation in our LaSallean upbringing. I cannot say that as a graduating senior, I have all the answers, that I found my one true calling in life and that all I'm doing is setting out to accomplish it. But I can, with 100% honesty and truth, say that St. Mary's has sparked a fire in me to find it. My hope for myself as well as every student here and every student in the class of 2018, is that we find the answer to Mr. O's question, that we find our love. I don't mean our soulmates, although I hope we find those too. I mean our passions, our reasons to live, to learn, to grow, and give back. It will be hard, but nobody said life would be easy. These next years will be an adventure unlike anything we've ever experienced. No nets and no bubbles. But I have full confidence in every single one of us to succeed. Whether we were close friends or acquaintances, I carry an appreciation for you in my heart. Thank you for the laughs and lessons learned. I can't wait to see where we go next. Congratulations, class of 2018. Olivia Connor. What a magnificent representative. We now recognize the following members of the class of 2018 who will graduate with honors based on their grade point average. Graduates, when your name is read, please rise and remain standing at your place. Audience, please hold your applause until all of the names have been read. Graduating cum laude, which means with praise, and having achieved an overall grade point average of 3.20 to 3.49. These students will wear a white tassel at graduation. Isabel Alvarez, Paulina Barajas Sanchez, Abel Bahailu, Christopher Blisco, Michaela Boone, Maxwell Brindle, Caleb Dawson, Dejanay Evans, Neil Evans. Maria Figueroa, Eden Gath, Sylvie Jitsi, Charlotte Guillory, Grace Lemon, Satoshi Matsumoto, Elena Sofia Montano, Samiramis Nunez, Erica Ordez, Jaina Marie Pebenito, Isaiah Saucer, Rosemarie Scanlon, Annabella 
Sakona, Sean Stranahan, Eva Thomas, Kobe Thompson, and David Watts. Genevieve Riley. These are the students graduating cum laude, graduates Please be seated. The following students are graduating magna cum laude, which means with great praise for having achieved an overall academic grade point average of 3.50 to 3.74. These students will wear a gold tassel. Audience, please hold your applause because this is about them, not you. <laughs> Until all of the names have been read. Graduates, when your name is read, please rise and remain standing at your place. Ria Ajmani. Camille Jade Bolos. Parker Boshe. Sydney Camera Hurtado. Nicholas DeMay, Nicholas Destabel, Francis Doran, Alika Duquette, Brian Govers, Kayla Hurd, Benjamin Jaffe, Sebastian Jimenez, Micah Klein. Christopher McEwen, Genesis Sanchez, Evan Sears, Jonah Seminal, Darius Spencer, Akhenaten Takarka, Robert Wood Jr. This concludes those students graduating magna cum laude. Now's the time to cheer. <laughs> Judges, please be seated. Thank you. I'd like now to invite to the, to the front the academic chairs. Would you please step forward? The academic department Chairpersons, would you please step forward? Summa cum laude means with highest praise. We honor those graduates who have achieved an overall academic grade point mm -hmm. average of 3.75 to 4.00. This is the highest academic honor a student can achieve. These students will wear a gold tassel and a gold cord at graduation. Audience, please hold your applause until all the names have been read. And graduates, when your name is called, please do come forward to receive your summa cum laude gold cord. Valeria Agurece. Madeline Albert, <laughs> Natasha Aranda K, Grace Arevalo, <laughs> Elena Avia, Anna Balzakowski, <laughs> Jonathan Baltazar. Jacqueline Beatty, Ethan Bezak, Noel Borg, Jordan Boykin, K. 
Caitlin Burnham, <laughs> Megan Cole, <laughs> Daniel Colwell, <laughs> Olivia Connor, <laughs> Molly Dandridge, <laughs> Zachary Desposito. Lucy Everett, <laughs> Natalia Falci, <laughs> Francesca Fernandez, <laughs> Ricardo Gonzalez, <laughs> Malo Gastlin. Kali Hatcher, Spencer Helvig, Dylan Hendershot, Hawken Hoyer Nielsen, Devin Kelly, Mariah Kehen. Alexandra Kirkman, Catherine Logan, Azmi Lowe. <laughs> Mathieu Loyer, <laughs> Brianna Lozano. Christopher Lund, Avery Martin, Olivia Manforte, Kara Naberes, please. Olivia, I'm assuming, Victoria O'Sullivan. <laughs> Raul Ornelas. <laughs> Joseph Peterman. <laughs> Alexander Politeev. <laughs> Maxwell Pollock. Jacob Punz, Simone Rice, Manuel Theodore Ramando, Diego Rincon, Aubrey Sahuria, Simran Sani. Guadalupe Saldana. Ariana Salini. Bobby Shore. Estrella Silva. Lea Singh. Samantha Solemnidad. Devin Swatelsky, Joe Tarczynski, Serena Tucker, Diogo Villa Boaz, Courtney Vu, Bailey Walvoord. Aidan Williams, <laughs> Catherine Wolfer, <laughs> Jonas Yee, 
This concludes the group of students graduating summa cum laude. At this time, we'd like to honor the graduates who have been acknowledged for having done an exceptional job on their senior projects. These students went above and beyond the requirements of the project. They exhibited passion and determination in the pursuit of knowledge and in the production of the finished products. Graduates, when your name is read, please come forward to receive your senior project red core. Please hold your applause until the last name has been called. Graduates who have completed their senior project with distinction include Zachary Desposito, Grace Arvalo, Courtney Vu, Brianna Lozano, Kayla Hurd, Micah Klein, Genevieve Wiley, Maxwell Pollock, Maria Figueroa, Joseph Peterman, Alexandra Kirkman, Devin Sutalski, Aiden Williams, Annika Duquette, and Christopher McEwen. This concludes those students receiving Senior Project Red Cord Award. The St. Mary's College High School chapter of the National Honor Society, also known as NHS, awards stoles to these students who have met the requirements of that organization. Students receiving a stole today have not only maintained a high academic performance, but have also performed many hours of community service. Graduates, when your name is read, please come forward to receive your stole. And again, please hold your applause until the last name has been announced for these National Honor Society stoles, which will be awarded to Madeline Albert, Ria Ajmani, Anna Boldzikowski, Michaela Boone. Jordan Boykin, Caitlin Burnham, Megan Cole, Molly Dandridge, Annika Duquette. Alexandra Kirkman, Kara Naberez, Simran Sunny, Genesis Sanchez, Serena Tucker. and Katherine Wolfer. This concludes the students receiving National Honor Society Award. Each year, 
the St. Mary's College High School chapter of the California Scholarship Federation, also known as CSF, awards seal bearer certificates, pins, and white cords to its lifetime members. These students have maintained high academic performance and have attained membership in CSF throughout their last three and a half years of high school. Members have already received their CSF pins. But graduates, when your name is read, please come forward to receive your certificate and your white cord. Life membership in the California Scholarship Federation is awarded to Madeline Albert, <laughs> Natasha Aranda Kay, Grace Arevalo, Anna Balzikowski, Noel Borg, Jordan Boykin, Caitlin Burnham, Megan Cole, Olivia Connor, Molly Dandridge, Zachary Desposito, Annika Duquette, Natalia Fauci, Francesca Fernandez, Ricardo Gonzalez, Mariah Kehen, Mathieu Loyer, Brianna Lozano, Kara Naberes, Joseph Peterman, Diego Ricom. Sibran Sani, Guadalupe Saldana, Samantha Solemnidad, Joe Tarczynski, Serena Tucker, Courtney Vu, Aiden Williams, Catherine Wolfer, Jonas Yee. And this concludes the students receiving California Scholarship Federation Life Membership Awards. The St. John Baptiste de La Salle Certificates of Academic Distinction are awarded to the graduates who have distinguished themselves in the following academic areas. Graduates, when your name is called, please come forward to receive your award. In the field of English, Caitlin Burnham, Devin Switalski,
in the field of world languages in Spanish. Lucy Everett, Guadalupe Saldana, In the field of world languages, in French, Joseph Peterman, Alexander Plateyev. In the field of social science, Carol Naberes, Samantha Solimidad and Jonas Yee. In the field of religious studies, James Garcia, Jr. And Kali Hatcher. Now, Kali is not able to join us today because she is competing at the state track finals. She received her award of graduation practice on Wednesday. But congratulations to Kali in all aspects, huh? In the field of mathematics, Avery Martin. And Joe Tarczynski. In the field of science, Madeline Albert. Anna Bozikowski and Hawken Hoyer Nielsen. In the field of philosophy, Ricardo Gonzalez and Avery Martin. In the field of visual arts, Valeria Aberece. In the field of drama performance, Grace Lamone. In the field of drama, technical stagecraft, Aubrey Sahoria. In the field of instrumental music, Courtney Vu. In the field of choral music, Jenna Marie Pebenito. And in the field of dance, Janelle Ingram. Janelle is also unavailable today because she is competing at the state track finals. She received her award at graduation practice on Wednesday as well. 
This concludes the St. Mary's, St. John Baptist de La Salle certificates of academic distinction. Please give them all a big round of applause. Each year, St. Mary's College High School presents special awards to honor those graduates who have demonstrated outstanding talent and service. Recipients, please come forward when your name is called. The most inspirational athlete awards are presented to those graduates whose demeanor and athletic performance have been outstanding. Those who have exerted the most positive influence on their teammates and coaches are Jordan Boykin, <laughs> Brianna Lozano, and Robert Wood Jr. The St. Mary's College High School Athlete of the Year Awards are presented to the graduating students who achieve the highest level of both academic and athletic excellence over their four years here. This year's recipients are Kelly Hatcher and Dylan Wyatt. <laughs> the Bobby N. Barrett Award for Music is named in honor of the faculty member who greatly enhanced the St. Mary's band and music program. Putting special emphasis on the development of musical excellence. This award is given to the senior band member who has demonstrated outstanding ability, growth, and leadership. This year's recipient, Noel Borg. <laughs> The Giovanni Pierluigi della Pellestrina Award for Choral Music. Named in honor of distinguished Renaissance composer, is presented to the graduate who has excelled in the area of choral music. This year's recipient is Elena Avia. The Catherine Denham Award, named for the master choreographer, educator, and dancer, is given to the outstanding, uh, for, given for outstanding effort to the student in dance performance. This year's recipient is Devon Kelly. <laughs> The Virginia Woolf Award for Creative Writing, named for the great novelist of the 20th century, is given to the graduate who has demonstrated the pursuit of excellence in their own writing and a commitment to improving the writing of their peers. This year's recipient is Joseph Peterman. The Aldous Minutius Award for Journalism, Yearbook, named for the 15th century Phoenician painter 
who brought well-produced books within the reach of many. We honor these graduates for their outstanding contribution to the Peralton Yearbook. This year's recipients, Jordan Boykin and Kara Naberes. Each year, a graduate is chosen to deliver a speech that salutes the class and reminds them of their shared experiences of high school. This speech is presented at the Baccalaureate Liturgy. St. Mary's would like to present a medal to the class of 2018's salutatorian, Grace Lamone. At the beginning of today's presentation, we heard the class valedictorian in gratitude for her words and message and insights. We'd like to present a medal to the class of 2018 valedictorian, Olivia <laughs> Connor. Now, in addition to the awards given today, St. Mary's will also rec recognize additional graduates with awards for a high academic achievement and the most prestigious school honors. These awards will be presented at the commencement exercise at Zellerbach Hall on Sunday, June 3rd. So there's more yet to come. We will now begin the transition of student leadership. Will our current president and newly elected president please come forward? Congratulations. We also ask the newly elected Lasallian student leaders for the year 2018-19. Please come stand, or would you please stand at your place? Uh, we also ask our community uh, to raise your hands in blessing to these new student leaders. So student leaders, would you stand in place, please? And we all extend our hands towards our student leaders. Okay, I have to read this prayer first. O oh God of all creation and all goodness, it is from you that all gifts come. We thank you for the gift of leadership. We ask you to guide these student leaders and to send your spirit to inspire them with your gifts of wisdom, understanding, counsel, courage, knowledge, reverence, and wonder. With your help, they can succeed in bringing a sense of unity and joy to our St. Mary's community. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. As the seniors end our journey here and begin another, we would like to bless our president for the following academic year, as well as the classes of 2019, 2020, and 2021. We wish you a safe and successful experience in the years to come. On behalf of the classes of 2019, 2020, and 2021, we want to thank all of the LaSallean student leaders for your leadership and guidance. You have been a blessing to St. Mary's and we are confident that you will be a great blessing to the world. St. Mary's students, faculty, and staff, 
I would like to express my gratitude for entrusting me and this council with this important honor of leadership. It is my intention to continue and grow the work of the LaSallean student leaders before me. At this time, I'd like to invite to the podium Dr. Peter Imperial. Good morning, class of 2018. <laughs> Especially good morning to the parents. Um, would you raise your hand if you've been through a high school graduation with a child before? If you haven't, it, it, it is truly a, um, a moment. They grow up fast. I know you know this already Im implicitly, but um, enjoy the weekend. For you, the graduates, I'll have more to say on Sunday. Um, but for you too, enjoy the day. Unlike J.R. Smith, you do have the lead in shooting the free throw. <laughs> There's virtually nothing you can do to mess this up at this point, so we're good. <laughs> For the underclassmen. Do keep an eye on these young men and women who are clad in red today. Your time is coming much more quickly than you think. This time passes very fast. Uh, take advantage of the wisdom of your own parents and your peers as you continue your journey. And one last thing, please be sure to thank the men and women who have taught you these last four years. Uh, they could be making a lot more money in other capacities, but they choose out of love to work with you. And I'll take a moment now to say farewell to some of our faculty who are moving on to new adventures themselves. They are graduating today. I would like to ask them when I call their names to come up and receive a very small uh, uh, token of our gratitude. Leaving us uh, after just one year, an alumna of the school, a graduate of my alma mater, we say farewell to Miss Aziza Baker. Also leaving us this year, uh, this woman has been a remarkable asset to us in the counseling department. She'll be moving with her family to San Diego, Miss Allison Wood. For most of 20 years, this woman has taught history, AP world history. She's taught all through the social science department, has led the senior projects, moving with her family to Eugene, Oregon, so you ducks can say hello once in a while, Miss Kate Long.
Also leaving us as a member of the faculty, he has been with us for over 20 years. He has been a coach. Uh, he has run the auto clubs. He has been a master teacher of religious studies. We say farewell to Mr. Jeff Mahaley. Again, this next member of our staff has been with us for over 20 years. Um, the loss this year of institutional memory, experience, and wisdom is, is something you cannot measure. She um, is working in her office today and frankly is a little emotional about leaving. But would you please, if you have a moment, give a hug to Miss Linda Yaris. She's retired. <laughs> Forty-two years is a lifetime. Um, there are simply no words uh, to say when you measure the gifts that this man has given all of you and generations before you. We say farewell, though he'll be around a little bit, to Mr. Tony Olivier. Lastly, you will notice that there are no more flowers because this man prefers to spend all of St. Mary's money on the education of young men and women. The loss of, of all of these professionals um, will be deeply felt for this institution. We might not have been here today if it were not for our departing president, Brother Edmund LaRouche. Thank you very much. We'll see you on Sunday, Mr. O. Just to introduce him. Once again, our president, Brother Edmund LaRouche. Thank you, Tony. And a big thanks to all of you um, as well. Um, I'm going a little bit off what I had intended to say from the start, but I, I just simply would like to uh, thank all of you for a uh, very, very wonderful time, uh, wonderful years here, and, and I, I'm not going to be far. I'm simply going to continue living in the Brothers House. I'm basically vacating my office, and I'm handing all the, uh, the joys of being president to Mr. Puck. All right, and uh, Mr. Puck there. <laughs> uh, but I certainly hope to continue to, uh, to see you and to be around uh, and to enjoy what happens here at St. Mary's. And um, what's happened over the last 21 years uh, while I've been here as president, I, uh, I thank God for and I thank God and, and all of those others who worked with me, 
to do the things that we have done. Uh, and I do think that uh, we do enjoy a lot of things today that we take for granted, but they really are the result of some really marvelous uh, people uh, who answered the call and who came uh, and were generous with their time and with their energy and with their treasure. Uh, and they made transformative uh, contributions to uh, St. Mary's. Uh, and I think all of you students are, are well aware uh, of many uh, of that, of many of those uh, contributions. The latest being obviously the, uh, the St. Mary's Chapel. At this point though, I definitely would like to simply talk about the class of 2018 and simply tell you that uh, it has been a wonderful four years. I am deeply appreciative, appreciative uh, of you and of your having come to St. Mary's and of your having shared uh, your lives and your struggles and your hopes and your dreams with us over the past four years. I simply want to congratulate you on what you have accomplished and it is a great deal and the evidence is in yourselves as you sit here. I can look at some of you and I can remember how you were on that first day here as a freshman. Uh, and when you think about that in your own mind, all right, it's obvious, right, all the things that you've accomplished and uh, they are great and they're wonderful and I congratulate you on that. Now this morning what we're celebrating is uh, a lot of transitions, there's a lot of change and life is about change. And as long as things are changing, you're alive, especially if you're in step with it. If you stop and you sit and there's nothing happening, uh, you're not close to, uh, well you're not living at that point, all right? Uh, and so we've noticed some of those, we've noted the, uh, the change in student leadership, and we've begun the transition process with the class of 2018. Uh, this is the first part of your graduation weekend. Uh, today, presentation, tomorrow baccalaureate, and then obviously on Sunday, uh, your reception of your diplomas. And as part of that transition, uh, you have to understand that you're going to be leaving us with an identity and it's something that is simply a part of you for the rest of your lives. You are students of St. Mary's now and you're going to be alumni of St. Mary's. That's something you're going to carry with you for the rest of your lives. You'll always think back uh, on your high school. You'll think back upon these years. Uh, hopefully you'll carry on the many friendships that you formed and hopefully those friendships will continue to be a source of real support to you uh, over the years. I certainly hope that. And I also hope that you remain in close contact with St. Mary's because obviously when you become alums, uh, you do take on, in addition to this identity of being alumni, you also take on the responsibilities uh, of being alums. And people fulfill those responsibilities in different ways. Uh, but that identity is still there, and I hope that this school stays very strong in your hearts. Right? That's really the most important thing, all right? that you have St. Mary's in your heart, and that is what's going to allow you, uh, I think, to lead better lives, actually, all right? uh, but certainly allow you to remain in, in contact in a meaningful way. What we always do at this time all right, to emphasize uh, this larger community that you're now entering is we sing the alma mater all right, at this time. And one of the things that uh, you should all keep in mind is that this gathering this morning, this is the last gathering we have for this academic year, the academic year 2017, 2018. This is when the academic year officially ends. This is it. We started earlier in the year with a big gathering uh, when school started, and then this is the last one uh, that we have at this time. Uh, and so, there is a parting here, a sweet parting, uh, and in this I also want to wish all of you a, a very good summer, good holidays, a lot of happy reading. Uh, <laughs> and I want to call up the alums that you know uh, who are here in, involved in your lives, certainly been involved in your lives this, this past year. And I'm going to ask each one of you, as I call your name, to please come up front and stand in front of the uh, 
class of 2018, and when we are all gathered, uh, we'll sing the, uh, the alma mater. And first, I'd like to call up Ola Steed Voltaire, class of 2011. <laughs> Aziza Baker, class of 2009. Christina Dufala, class of 2009. Elliot Wynn, class of 2008. Aaron Johnson Kelly, class of 2005. Rob Riccardi, class of 2007. <laughs> Connor Banks, class of 2000. Casey Filson, class of 1985. John Forte, class of 1981. Jay Lawson, class of 1981. Larry Puck, class of 1978. Adolph Bertero, class of 1975. Michael Summers, class of 1974. Anton Olivier, class of 1970. <laughs> Peter, Peter Barrero, class of 1964. <laughs> Colbert Davis, class of 1962. Myself, class of 1966. <laughs> and we'll have Mr. Olivier lead us. And at this point, you could all stand. Class of 2018, stand. Oh, just one moment, just one thing. Are there any other alums in the room? If there are any other alums, come up. All the other alums. <laughs> no. Right, okay, that's okay, right. Okay. okay. All right. The bells of St. Mary's, they always shall guide us through all of our sorrows. Stand our victories and hopes, for we will. Be faithful to all you have taught us to live for truth, to trust in God, St. Mary's hail. We want to thank the parents of our graduates who have joined us today. <coughs> Let's give them a big round of applause, please. <laughs> After our graduates exit, you are invited to join them around the cross area. Uh, and of course, present students will, will have you uh, seated and, and wait until uh, the parents do leave. At this time, I think we're waiting for music, huh? Drop that beat.
faculty members, would you like to join them? Parents, would you like to join them?